Right, hello everyone. 26 Tango Mike 062, 2J4UZ and Retro Game at JL78 back again. And today's video is not about Keynote and not about iMovie. It's how to turn a Mac into a scanner for about £20. Now if you want to get into the world of radio scanning and you look in the magazines, you'll see the scanners. They will cost you a couple of hundred quid for something half decent. And then you put the aerial on top, so it'd be more like two, three hundred quid for something decent. And you'll be thinking, well I don't want to spend all that money. If I find out I don't enjoy the hobby, I don't like it. So for 20 quid, you can dip into the world of SDR radio. Now I'm using this dongle here, and I'll put a picture on the screen. It's a DAB plus uh, T, so DV, yeah, DAB plus FM plus DVB-T, and it's a TV car for Windows. But using it on a Mac, or you can use it Windows with some software, turns it into a scanner from 24 megahertz to 1.7 gigahertz. And you get these for about 15 quid. And the little stock antenna you get with it is a lot of old crap. So that can go straight in the bin. And I'll post a picture. You want a BNC to MTX adapter, which allows you to connect a bigger aerial. So let's go on the internet and get hold of the software. So I've been looking at some getting some Sega games off eBay. So I am a retro game collector. And my quest is to collect every single Master System game. So go to the home page. And you want to download... Let's go to GQRX and there you can tell I've already been there and it's GQRX.DK so we've got there that's the website to go to and if I hit on downloads you can see there we've got GQRX for Ubuntu and to get it working on Ubuntu you've got a blacklist of driver and that'll work on Ubuntu and it should work on Mint as well uh, Mac OS X and the source code you wish to compile it. Now I've got mine working on Ubuntu Linux by following a post. Uh, Mac OS, OS X, just plug it in and away we go. So I've already downloaded the software and I've got the dongle connected. And in my applications folder, let's turn that CP down. You can see, there we are, GQRX. So I'm just going to click it. And the software will run. And if I push this one, when you first run it, it will bring up this box and it will list the device in there. Now, mine listed it first of all, and the software crashed. When I reopened it, it turned around and said, do I want to reconfigure it? So I push yes, it left the device blank. I leave all this blank. And once I've done that, then everything seems to work. So I'm just gonna hit okay. And you've got your filter width here, filter shape, your mode, AGC, that's auto gain control, squelch. You've got your gain for your audio, and when I was listening to an FM broadcast on it, you sometimes get you get the RDC, the radio text, it tells you what station's playing and all that sort of stuff and what music's playing and song and what have you. And you can tune in from 24 megs to 1.7 gigs. And here you enter the frequency. And when you first do it, you'll get no sound because it'll be stuck on D-Mod off. Screen out type mode and it's off. So you can change it to AM. No FM, wide FM, FM uh, wide FM, mono, and stereo, low side and upside band, carry wave L, carry wave U, and WFM, wide FM, wherever that mode is, not not too sure. So if, if I wanted to listen to, say, the CB, I can do 27781250. There you go. And power them up. Okay, and they got D mode off. I'm going to switch it to narrow FM. A little bit of audio. And I'll key up on my CB. One, two, three. This is a test. This is a test. Transmitting on CB. Coming through this little USB dongle. Isn't it great? Lovely. Let's turn the gain down again. That was on CB channel 19. So now if I change the mode. Sorry, my mouse is a bit sensitive. I've got an Apple Magic Mouse to wide FM. And I can do... 94 900 and I should get the radio if I hear music I'll just switch it straight down again and we've got no sound so why have we got no why have we got no, got no sounds let's change that there we are I don't know why we had no sound then, but you can just adjust it. Okay, 
let's change the mode to narrow FM this time and we listen to 139995 these are the London iBus and you'll see all these, these should be stations transmitting so if I were to click say let's turn the volume up a bit here, we should, well one of these we should hear Hold it, drag it, and click it. There you go. You can click your mouse and drag it up and down. If you change the frequency, slow them down again, and I can try one, three, four, nine, oh, oh. Change the mode to AM, which is already on. Get some sound, volume, and you should get some airband traffic. I'll click these and see what I can find any. One shot up there and I missed it. There's another one. There you go. So my phone just gone off with a text message, so one's gone up there. That's in the AM mode, so that was a quick look at the Realtek dongle, or USB dongle for Macintosh. You can do the same thing on Windows by using um, HDSDR. I couldn't get it working on my Mac. Um, but yeah, you can use Qubit SDR Mac as well, but GQRX I prefer because I used it on Linux and it works out of the box on the Macintosh. I will say 7.3s. And I'll catch you soon.